Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to try to explain a little more in detail because it's something that is um, difficult to grasp for some users what it actually means and Microsoft isn't helping because they've used words that are um, not necessarily indicating exactly what it should be. Uh, when we talk about the um, Wi-Fi networks in the video uh, and the network and um, internet settings, we talked about the fact that in your properties you have public and private networks. And it's confusing because um, it the private network would kind of imply for a lot of people in their head that, oh, this is what I should choose to be private. But that's not exactly what it means. It means that it's your own personal network, not a public network. So it's very confusing um, in the wording that they used. Um, they probably should have put, like some one of the comments said uh, exactly what it should be. It's It should be public network and home network. That would be clearer, I think, for everybody. So consider private network more like home network, which would be a simpler way to explain this. But Microsoft is never simple in the explanations and in the terms that they use. So once again, it's simply that if you are on a public network, if you use you know public Wi-Fi everywhere, you should have your setting to public network. This does shut down your network to prevent your PC from being discovered by other devices on the network. So it makes it more secure, less chances of you know being hacked through a public network. Now, the public network, it says recommended, and it's always the default. If you install Windows from scratch, you'll notice that even at home, your default is public network. And the reason is they rely on the fact that people use one PC, or even if they use multiple PCs at home, the PCs don't have to communicate with each other. Most people will use two or three computers, but not necessarily want them to be visible and to interconnect. So that will be the recommended setting because it will be fine for most people, it will be fine. The public network setting keeps your home network shut down also. And if you don't share files and things like that, it's okay. So um, here they do say, you know, when connected at home, work, or in a public place. It's it's not totally true because it depends what you do. For example, here, my home network needs to have discoverability. I need to see on the network the devices around me. There are some devices that are network device. And I want to have access to other PCs through my home network to share files, for example, or share folders. So in this case, I need to be on the private network where it says you, if you need file sharing or use apps that communicate over the network, you should actually have the private network enabled. And of course, you do that only at home or in a business where multiple computers might want to talk to each other. But you don't never do that on a network that is a public network with unknown devices connected and unknown PCs connected. So that's the thing. So for most people, it's fine to leave it at public network, but in terms of sharing files, sharing apps that communicate with PCs, and uh, even some network printers, uh, at home on your personal internet connection, private network will open up the possibility of uh, in communicating communicating with different PCs. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.